yes my friends here again uh, we are going to discuss uh, something that I've prepared for you I promised you that I would send you a video about São Paulo City in Brazil where I've been there once uh, for about seven years but I changed the idea I think before I take you out of Africa we should have known better the cities or the capitals of Africa so I decided to take you to Maputo Maputo also is one of the cities that I have visited it was in the year 2008 2009 I've been living there and it was their first time I learned Portuguese so I believe uh, this script has been seen by people from Brazil from Mozambique Angola Cabo Verde uh, Guinea Bissau and the other Portuguese speaking countries all over the world so I will never separate you eh só que ele saudar vocês também estou bem vou falar sobre Maputo a cidade de Maputo então eh, pode inscrever ao meu canal e vamos falar muitas coisas já falei sobre Angola pode eh, passar por lá ok thank you people from eh, Lusofone And now I also acknowledge my friends from all over Africa. I saw people from Namibia, from Rwanda, Burundi, and from Congo DRC. Also I spoke something about Kinshasa in one of my videos you can refer back. And also I see people from South Africa, from Nigeria, from Tanzania, my country, from Kenya, from Uganda. Oh yes, I have forgotten. Yeah, all of Africa I see they are turning back yeah, to they are coming to my channel. So they want to also to see uh, various aspects about Africa, about Africa. And also I met people from Angola. And I thank you very much for your support. Immediately when my video went on within five days I had already 2.5 views from your part I believe most of you are from Angola yeah, I've been there also so if you are from Angola and you've not seen that clip I suggest you go back and watch the clip about uh, Rwanda Angola yeah and Congo DRC and other places around the world okay so mine is about Maputo You know Maputo is the capital city and the largest city of Mozambique located near the south end of the country that is within 120 kilometers to the borders with Eswatini it was known also as Swaziland but today is called Eswatini and also South Africa so the city has a population of about 1,088 1449 according to the census of the year 2017 which is distributed all over the land of area about an area of about 347.69 km square so the metropolitan area in Maputo includes the neighboring city of Matola so Matola is the largest suburb of the Mozambique capital Maputo adjacent to its westernmost side it is the nation's most populated city and it is the capital of Maputo province having its own elected municipal government since the year 1998 Yeah, so it is a port and also the biggest industrial area in Mozambique and its population is about 1,032,000 people 
1,195,97 according to the sensor of 2017. But I'll tell you one thing, Maputo province is the province of Mozambique. The province excludes the city of Maputo, which comprises a separate province. That is, Maputo is a separate province. But within Maputo, there is this Maputo province and there is Maputo city. So Maputo city is not in Maputo province, but Maputo province has a capital city called Matola. I hope you understand. If you do not understand what I've said, just a comment box or bit in you can comment. Then you go to it. Okay. So you have to know that Maputo province is the province of Mozambique, and the which also it include it excludes the city, the city of Maputo, which Maputo comprises a separate province. This is the program. This is the way of life in Mozambique. So Maputo is a port city. Is a port city with an economy on commerce, business. It was formerly known as Lorenzo Marques until 1976. So some points of reference that you have to know about Maputo is the Independence Square. It's called the Plaza de Independencia. So Independence Square is a public square and the focal point of Maputo City. It was built by the Portuguese as, as the Mozinho de Albuquerque Square, and it was dominated by the statue of Mozinho Albuquerque, the former Governor General of Portuguese Mozambique. In the statue of Abukeke, on house on horseback, was inaugurated in the year 1940. After the independence of Mozambique in 1975, the square was renamed Plaza da Independencia, the Independence Square, and the statue of Mozinho Abukeke was removed and replaced by the statue. Samuel Samuel Marshall, and the first president of Mozambique, as we all know. So the square is now dominated by the larger statue of Samuel Marshall, built in in 2011, and is said to be 9.5 meter tall, made of bronze. And today, it's in the capital city. You can see it when you go to Maputo. Just see it by sight. So another thing is to notice the Cathedral of Our Lady of Immaculate Conception, not as near the Democratic Conceição, which is the Maputo Cathedral. Yeah, it is in the it is the RC Roman Catholic Cathedral, and is in downtown Maputo, located on Plaza de Independencia, next to Luvuma Hotel and Maputo City Hall. The foundation stone was laid on June 28th, 1936, and the construction of the cathedral was finished in the year 1944. So one of the important things that not in Mozambique is the central railway station. This was this is administered by Mozambique Ports and Railways. And it was constructed from the year 1908 to 1916 in the Beaux Art style, one of the world's most beautiful constructions. It was already uh, known as one of the world's most beautiful, and it cost at about 400,000 US dollars at the time, and it's about 41 meter tall. Maputo City Hall is another thing that you should know about its beauty and its history. It was built in 
there are a lot of things to talk about him at all, about him at all in general, including the Gatembe Bridge, which at the time when I was there in, 19, in 2008 to 9, it was not yet there. And if you want to go to one of the best beach beaches in Maputo, Katembe, you have to take a, a, bar, a boat type that it will take you to the other side. And now, nowadays, uh, when I went back in 2017, I found they already built a very beautiful, big cable bridge. Yeah, this is the best or the biggest in Africa. Uh, the bridge that is supported by cables. Remember, until then, uh, we had Matadi Bridge, which is in Congo. That was the best or, or the biggest cable supported bridges. But now, this Katembe Bridge is the biggest in Africa uh, cable supported bridge. Yeah, so Maputo. So I want to tell you some towns that I passed this through. First of all, there's a town called Basha. Basha means down uh, where the major city or CBD lies. So there's Alto Mae A and B, Mariangalen A and B, Samashield, Shimpa Manini, uh, Shamagulo A and B. Mashakwene A and B, Polana Cemento A and B, Polana Kanisu A and B, Shikelene, Mavalane A and B, Aeroporto, Laulane where we used to live, I lived there for a year, Haulene A and B, Ferroviario, Maguanini, at Saturday Fevereiro, Tesselo de Fevereiro, Mahotas, Costa de Sol. I used to go there for swimming a lot of times. Sometimes I used to walk on foot because, you know, the time we are studying, we don't have enough money and there's no way to travel. Albazin, Zimpeto, Mashava, where there is a national stadium or Mashava. Uh, I saw it also in Dar es Salaam, they've built uh, stadiums, they call it Machava, but they don't know that it's Machava Stadium. And I think someone from Mozambique should have given that name. And there's parties Rumumba and Matoa, as I've already spoken about. And there's Mashangshan. Hey, this name, Bwana Mashangshan. You have to take your tongue before you speak it. And there's Bagamoyo. So these are some cities that I can remember today about, about Maputo. Yeah, so thank you guys for your support. I ask you to subscribe. And if you don't mind, you can ring also the bell so that you are actualized anytime I send it you clip in my in our youtube channel yeah but i want to tell you one more thing about mozambique of which i found it is not very nice about maputo yeah uh, until 2009 when i was living there there was no system of sanitation toilets and uh, places where people could throw rubbish that means in plain CBD in a double road you find men even women are doing their necessities in an open air in Maputo many places it's very common you find a woman taking just a kapulana kapulana is like kiteng in, in, in Kiswahili or like a, a plain cloth then she hides herself within that small uh, cloth and she can do everything as if she's in the 
in the toilet, a big toilet over which a sweet. And it's normal, really. I visited some uh, markets like Ishkelen, uh, uh, I forgot the other names. The issue of hygiene, toilets, and other things. Really, it's not their concern. A man can just turn on uh, on the street and can start doing a necessity and the children are passing by and nobody cares and, uh, or sometimes you can just turn to one of the uh, kiosks especially at night and you start to unite it's normal and another thing that I found is absurd is about Pombe hey, these people they like to drink they can drink and eat in the morning. Uh, I was living in Lowland and I saw a lot of men drinking from evening to the morning. Maybe I can say that they take the alcohol throughout the night. Just like in Angola. I forgot to tell you in my clip. In Angola, the price of beer is too cheap comparing to that of coca-cola or to even to water and uh, i wonder if it's the uh, influential culture from portugal i don't know when i go to portugal then i'll understand i'll tell you but things are like that in these two countries so thank you for your time and you can also contrast if you want through uh, the, uh, through, uh, you can comment and you can say what you think about what you have spoken. Of. Even if you think that is not okay, just feel free to challenge. Thank you.